Hello, uh, I'm George Wilson and I'm going to update you on Slovakian presidential elections. Over the weekend, Susanna Kaputova, the pro-European Union liberal candidate, won uh, and she became the first president, female president of Slovakia. So what does her election mean for the rising tide of populism in Central and Eastern Europe? Has it now reached its peak? And what is the future direction of politics within the region? Well, those people saying that populism has now reached its peak with this election, I think, have reached a hasty conclusion. It's important to remember uh, the political context in which uh, Kaputova won, and I don't think you can detach her victory from that. Uh, Slovakia was a country uh, that, had, that many within had perceived to be marred with corruption, and Kaputova was the strongest anti-corruption candidate. Um, Earlier this year, there were demonstrations um, against many of the political elite and business elites because um, of perceived corruption um, and the murder of an investigative journalist who was looking into this problem. And Kaputova was seen as the strongest candidate um, that was taking the harshest anti-corruption uh, stance. And so her victory is definitely aligned with, uh, with that. Secondly, it's important to remember that Slovakia was a more liberal country than many of its neighbours, particularly Poland and Hungary, um, in the first place. But let's not take anything away from her victory. Uh, during the campaign, she was against some far uh, right populist uh, leaders with populist agendas, and she defeated, defeated them quite convincingly in the first round. Um, during her acceptance speech, she says, I'm, not, I'm happy not just for the result, um, but mainly because it's possible not to succumb to populism um, and to win by telling the truth um, without resorting to a negative, aggressive vocabulary. So it's certainly a victory for liberalism in Central and Eastern Europe. Thank you.